Hi everyone, I'm Briggs the Savage. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. After finishing spring practice last week, the St. Thomas football team is looking ahead to a promising 2014 season. Coach Glenn Crusoe's Tommies are expected to return 18 of 25 starters when they open their season against Wisconsin-Eau Claire on September 6th. Those veterans will be joined by a strong recruiting class, which Caruso and his coaching staff raved about at last week's quarterback club discussion. I'm joined today by Coach Glenn Caruso, defensive back Sean Hamlin, and tight end Cole Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Thanks for having us. And Coach, so you talked about your recruiting class at last mm -hmm. week's quarterback club discussion. You mentioned how deep they are, and um, you have 12 All-State players coming in, two who received the National Football Foundation of Minnesota honor. What were some of your goals when recruiting this offseason? Well, as always, we want to find guys that fit in the program, and a portion of that is certainly their athletic prowess. Can they, can they fit in athletically? But probably more so than that, we can find a lot of guys that would fit in athletically is can they fit in here academically and uh, indigenous to our team, when they're in our locker room, are they, are they going to be a guy who's accepting of the way we run our program? It's different than many, uh, but it's very, very family-based and selfless. And so all of those factors are just, those are some of many of them, but those are the big ones that you look at a kid and you say, is he going to fit in? So a lot of people think it's just looking at film and saying, can he throw the ball far? Can he hit a guy hard? But there's so much more that goes into that. And Sean, we'll talk a little bit about last year's defense, too. Um, your defense only allowed an average of 79 rushing yards and 14.3 points per game, all of which were Mayak best. So with kind of the core of your defense graduating this year, um, how do you see some of the younger players looking to fill those roles? You know, every year we lose All-Americans, you know, Tremaine Williams, Riley Dombeck, and we have guys that come in and step up and, you know, perform just as good as them. And I know this year with our senior class and junior and sophomore at spring, they all look great. Our defense looks strong. Everyone's, you know, a cohesive unit coming together again. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a new defensive unit out there, new guys stepping into new roles. It'll be fun. And Cole, looking again to at last year, your team suffered tough con conference losses, some injuries, and fell short of that NCAA playoff bid. What are some of the things your team needs to work on heading into the fall? Right. Well, that was, I mean, obviously we were disappointed at the end of last year. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do to change it now. But there's only two routes we can go. We can either get down on ourselves about it, or we can use it as motivation for next year. And I think. After spring ball, everybody's really excited to get after it again, and uh, I think that's how we're going to approach it. And looking again at the recruiting class coming in for next year, you mentioned last week that um, quarterback Thomas O'Neill out of Waseca High School is one of the strongest recruits you have coming in. What makes him such a strong player? Oh, a lot of things. Those three things I hit on earlier, the, he fits in this school academically, he fits in, in our locker room as a person, and certainly, uh, as you saw, if you watch the film, he fits uh, when you watch the film. But I think he's, he's a uh, fantastic microcosm of what our class is like, a kid who's a high achiever on the field, high achiever off the field, and very, very loyal to his family and whatever community he's a part of, has done a great job. And that, that class has so many of those kids that have done a great job being a part of their community and helping that community grow there, and looking forward to letting them do the same thing here at St. Thomas. Great. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Freshman Rachel Johnson wants to know, Coach, with such a competitive MIAC season, were you worried about losing some of the recruits to some of the conference's top programs? We're always concerned about losing yeah. recruits. It doesn't matter what the situation is. I will say I think our <clears throat> coaching staff, our assistant coaches, had done a fantastic job. It's one thing to find the guys, but it's another to build a relationship to get the guy here. And I think they've done as good a job as we've <coughs> uh, seen here in the last seven years of not just finding those guys, but also landing them here. And so, uh, you know, I, the numbers are staggering. Certainly we, we have an enormous uh, class, but uh, the content of that class is as strong as it's ever been. So could not be happier and so fortunate to have coaches that work as tirelessly as they do. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in, and good luck in 2014. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank yeah. you. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com for the latest campus news. With Coach Glenn Caruso, Sean Hamlin, and Cole Kelly, I'm Briggs Savage. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.